Council framed it exclusively by Channel 4 News, appearing to show an illegal practice used to trap and then hunt live foxes. Tonight led to the hunt in question being suspended by hunting's governing body. Both the police and the British Hound Sports Association today confirmed they are now investigating the Cotswold hunt in response to the video contained in Alex Thompson's report, which contains scenes of animal cruelty. A fox rescued moments after a mounted hunt calls off its hound. Channel 4 News has been given this exclusive footage filmed by a hunt saboteur who was monitoring the Cotswold hunt on Saturday the 18th of March. As I got down to about this area, hounds were swarming. So it smells very strongly of fox, but also of blood. And I noticed that quite a few of the hounds had blood down the sides of their bodies and on their backs. What I found was really disturbing. Clearly premeditated animal cruelty. Her footage shows that under a clump of earth, she finds a man-made hole. In it, the fox, imprisoned in a bag. For her to just be literally buried alive inside of the sack, she must have just been absolutely terrified. The sack um, was actually sodden with urine um, from stress or maybe for her being in there for multiple hours or even days. When the rescuers pulled her out of the bag, they determined that she was a female, a vixen, and that her um, nipples had appeared that she could be lactating. The distressed animal inspected at the scene by wildlife rescuer Martin Brooks. His animal hospital is already caring for orphaned fox cubs round the clock. It's a dangerous time for any a fox to be taken, whether it's illegally or whether it's legally, if they're being shot or hunted legally, it's, it's not the right time of year to be doing it, purely because it's, it's breeding season. The risk is they're taking animals away from dependent young, and, and it's just inhumane. Hunting foxes with dogs was banned 18 years ago, but bagging foxes to be hunted was illegal long before that. Although you can still follow a scent trail with hounds. I don't think it is an isolated incident. I think um, you only get evidence when you either get lucky because somebody is there to, to gather that evidence or the hunt gets blase and cocky and um, they believe they're above the law. We've had um, 18 years of the um, Hunting Act. Um, during that time, we've had just about a thousand prosecutions under the Hunting Act including something like getting up for 50 uh, prosecutions of mounted hunts. You can still smell her. It's quite strong. This fox was found in a man-made den, structures which have been historically used to entrap foxes to be flushed out for the hounds to chase. Local foxes have denned quite a few times in this bank here. We live in one of the most nature-depleted groups of nations on the planet. We're in the midst of a biodiversity crisis. We cannot waste wildlife simply for human gratification. It's abhorrent. Imagine if that was someone's pet dog that was tied in a bag, in a hole, in their garden. But somehow or other, because it's a fox, and we have this ghastly tradition of fox hunting in the UK, they are getting away with it. Meanwhile, back at the den, another saboteur continues to film, and her footage shows a group of men on quad bikes. What they say appears to show they're concerned about something being discovered. The land where all this happened is described as a haven for wildlife. Its owner prides himself on the conservation work taking place here. Sustainability, conservation are you know, hugely important to us to underpin everything we do here. We farm regeneratively, and you can see that the area is um, very heavily wooded. When we told Nicholas Wills about all this, 
He said that the hunt were allowed onto the estate with the strictest understanding that they hunt within the law. He'll help any investigation and ban the hunt if it's found guilty. We put all this evidence to hunting's governing body, the British Hound Sports Association, the BHSA. And at 11.01 this morning, they emailed back. The seriousness of these allegations has resulted in the Cotswold hunt being suspended from the BHSA whilst an investigation is conducted. In the meantime, should there be any police investigation into these allegations, the Cotswold hunt will fully assist. Well, we can clear that one up for the BHSA. There is a police investigation. Gloucestershire Police confirmed it today. We also contacted the Cotswold hunt itself, but they never responded. Hi, it's Magpie. Uh, we just got a tip off. That However, they are far from alone in apparently ignoring the law. The following weekend, as we're out filming again, the saboteurs get a call. Illegal hair coursing, it seems, just 15 minutes up the road. They said that they're possibly just killed. As the hare sprints across the field, <laughs> it appears to be the Royal Agricultural College beagles giving chase. Hunting hares with dogs has been a crime since 2005. This comes just a month after students there paraded a dead fox strapped to a car during a charity rally. In response to this week's incident, the Royal Agricultural University told us that it does not condone illegal activity in any form. The RAC Beagles are independent of the university. However, we would work in partnership with the police should there be any allegations of students involved in criminal activity. This has been yet another hunting season dominated by reports of suspected illegal activity across the UK. Including foxes seemingly dug out from their dens and flung to the hounds, and now this fox imprisoned in an artificial earth and saved just in time. For the fox to have a happy ending um, is really, really special. We just hope that she's out of harm's way and has made her way back to her cubs. That report tonight's constant.